Okay, this is a little walkthrough on how we go up about applying laminate material properties to a mesh in MSC Apex. So you can see here I have a model. It's got a, uh, a surface underlying it, which is um, made up of two facets, one of the outer and then a second facet that represents the inner. Um, the reason I do that is so that I get a mesh that lines up and I can use it as a, as a separate zone to apply reinforcement around that hole. So I've also created a 2D orthotropic material. In this case, it's um, using some properties for T800 woven with some um, allowables assigned in there. Now, normally in an isotropic material, I would just hit assign material and pick the part. But because I need to define a stacking sequence, we need to turn this into what Apex calls a panel. So a panel um, needs surface geometry underpinning it. So I pick that and middle mouse to accept it. And you can see two things. First off, it has, uh, has decorated the part in tartan. Uh, the significance of that is that the red direction is the principal orientation. So if I go about building plies that have an angle, uh, the angle is relative to that red orientation direction. We also have an arrow. Um, which I can flip with the build direction, and that is indicating uh, the direction we stack away from the mesh. So it's assuming the mesh is the tool surface and plies we add get added away from that in the direction of the arrow. So that's all good. Uh, I need now to add some plies to this. So the add ply tool works. I pick a, a material, I give it a thickness, I give it an angle, um, and then I click add ply and I want to pick the whole thing, the middle mouse. And it comes back and it shows me again a tartan grid that indicates that it's it's basically parallel. Or that, that is the principal and uh, orthogonal um, orientation. I can go through and I can make a 45. Again, I have another 45 and then I want another zero. So I now have um, a layup of 0, 45, 45, 0 on this panel. Um, and it tells me I've got a single zone because the, the layup applies to the whole thing. I've only got one zone. If I was to say, uh, add some reinforcement around that hole at 45 degrees, I can go in here and I can pick that and I can create another ply. And you can see it's only locally highlighted that, um, that reinforcement around there and I can have a second one um, and because there's now a different layup on this area to this area we now have zones so we have zone one with the four plies we have zone two with the six plies um, what I actually want to do is move um, that to the to the bottom so that I've got reinforcement on both sides of the hole so there is my uh, my two zones um, and I am good to go and progress on with the rest of my analysis. Should I want to interrogate the model, um, I can either go back and look at the panel, but there is this core sampling tool. So if I pick a zone, it comes back and it shows me what the sequence is. I can click through um, and see what the thickness, what the material, what the orientation is. Um, if I pick in that area, you can see I pick up all six there. Um, that can be a quite laborious process. Um, if you've got a part with, with many, many layers. So the alternative option is if I create a panel and then define it no further, I can go into the utilities here and I can add a stack so I can specify thickness, let's say 0.5, and then I could have a whole series of orientations in here, 90, 45, 0, and pick that, add it, and it will build for me um, a stack that uses this sequence. At the moment, this tool only supports uh, uniform thickness um, for each ply and single material. 
um, but there are enhancements coming to to allow you to to pick up information from a spreadsheet so that you, if you've got multiple materials multiple different thicknesses and a more complicated layout then you'd be able to handle it that way so that's um, defining composites in MSC Apex thanks very much